Hi, folks. God bless you. I hope you're doing great. So, a um, couple of things I wanted to touch on today. Today on Monday, uh, it's the 19th, the FDIC, the controller uh, for the Treasury and uh, the U.S. Treasury Department, Janet Yellen, a whole bunch of other folks met about um, stable coins and digital currency. So by September, they anticipate having, I guess, a more a comprehensive report on where they're going to go with um, this uh, one world currency, one world digital currency. So um, it already exists. It's called RippleNet. I think that they're already using it. Bitcoin is just one of those things. But anyway, what they're talking about is basically a universally accepted electronically central bank backed currency one for the whole world um, and they're they're really peeing their pants about technology making this uh, possible can't wait to implant implement it implement it implement it implement it anyway what they want to do uh, they said by September 2021 a report will be released which break down the risk and benefits of the CBDC central backed digital currency. Uh, so this will co allow for complete complete surveillance. How much more easy it, is it to uh, track a Bitcoin than it is to track a quarter? So um, in addition, it, I uh, saw a hearing today that uh, from June 29th in the House. Uh, it was aired today only. And it's the House hearing on the uh, F to the E to the M to the A readiness, right? So FEMA's gotten a boatload, a boatload of money, and they're back asking for more. So they want all kinds of stuff for um, for training, for all things. They're going into private sectors now. So housing, they're going into housing. What I thought was really interesting was they happened to mention that the budget they got for funeral expenses for this during this corona uh, scam your scam the world uh, damn it they got two billion for funeral expenses and they've already indicated that uh, 447 million was already dispersed now that's just for the US I don't know the exact alleged toll that they've made up for these uh, uh, Planned, well planned MX, uh, or what they say is the toll, but whatever that toll is, divide, death toll divided by 44, 447 million dollars? You know, I'm not an accountant, but then there's some fishy numbers. Wow. So, um, but they're asking for some more money despite that. Yeah, so they talked about in, uh, integrating private sectors into our operations. So that would be merging public and private, such as health care and housing. Ooh, how do you all feel about FEMA taking care of you? That make you feel good? Make you feel warm on the inside? Uh, not me. So anyway, um, when asked if this uh, major disaster declaration that was instituted when the slam demic came down if it was ever going to end or when it was going to end they said uh, that's not going to happen in the very near future so I guess we can uh, anticipate despite all their miracles of medicine suffering with this for years I guess because it's not going to end in the very near future they're gearing up they're getting more money. They're getting themselves real excited. They're preparing their readiness. So, just saying, folks. Well, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is always ready. Just remember, He's the one running the show. So, all this stuff is coming to a, a real head real quickly got a one world currency we got 
this military and they say over and over again in the, in the meeting that it represents uh, FEMA represents stakeholders stakeholders who the hell are the stakeholders Cause I don't think it's the uh, I don't think it's us who are those stakeholders they're going to enforce law and order for anyway folks I think you all know who I think it is. I know it to be Satan. All right? Satan. So that's okay. There's another enforcer coming too. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.